So one of the most common questions we get on this channel or the live stream on Twitch, which by the way is every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, definitely come say hi. We play a lot of Final Fantasy XI as well as other games. But one of the most common questions that we get is how do you see the current state of Final Fantasy XI? What would you change? Are you worried about its future? What do you think is coming up with the 20th anniversary, which is, guys, it's like eight months away. I can't even believe we're here. This is insane. Nine months, 10 months. I, don't, I can't do math. That answer varies. Uh, obviously, they've, they've recently released the Voracious Resurgence storyline, which is continuing with updates. I think another one's coming out actually in September, and I'm super pumped about it. But I'm actually, I'm behind. I haven't finished the content. Um, because I my my interest in it has waxed and waned. It wasn't exactly what I expected. It's also been better in some ways than I expected. But I'm I'm rambling because the most recent quest that I did, I'm still behind what's what's current. Provided a reward that has me sold that if nothing else, the developers of Final Fantasy XI as it stands right now totally understand their player base, and it gives me huge hope for the future. Let's talk about it. So I'm sure a lot of you are, are hearing that that statement that the Final Fantasy XI uh, current Square Enix developers working on Final Fantasy XI as it stands now truly understand the players uh, is is confusing to both existing players, players that have left, players that are playing Voracious Resurgence, or players that have skipped it, because there have been a lot of concerning elements and changes that suggest that maybe they don't truly understand the player base. That might be a video for another day, but the reason I am excited begins with uh, the tale of the lucky egg. For those of you that aren't familiar, the lucky egg could be a video all in itself. Uh, there was an item dropped by, I think, crawlers in uh, the Boyata tree called the lucky egg. It was part of a quest line to get the Opa Opa crown, I think. You needed that along with like nine or six, some, some other number of random, you know, strange items throughout Benadiel. Uh, that were part of this quest line to get the Opa Opa crown. But it's called the Lucky Egg. <laughs> Which led to a lot of players, including myself, uh, assuming, fearing, thinking that having it in your inventory helped with uh, drop rates. I kept a Lucky Egg in my inventory for years, holding up very valuable inventory space with that and the Four Leaf Mandragora Bud purely because I thought there might be a chance and there were rumors abound that they helped with drop rates of, uh, of various items. And just the rumor alone, I was like, well, I have to have it. I became this hugely like suspicious person. I had all these theories about what the Lucky Egg might be doing to my drop rates and I always had it in my inventory. Now Square Enix finally did come out and say, they, they confirmed that I forget where it was, uh, that the Lucky Egg did not in any way have a hidden treasure hunter effect, despite what everybody in the game assumed must be true. Uh, the funny part was it was a food item. You could eat it and it gave you like nothing. <laughs> but I was like, oh, okay. But uh, yeah, I, I was convinced for years. I had this thing in my inventory. I think I still have one somewhere and uh, it does nothing. And this is where the, uh, the spoilers come in. Feel free to leave now. If you don't want to be spoiled for any of the Voracious Resurgence storyline quests, I totally understand. Come back, check out the video later to my, my thoughts. But the, the quest that I just did uh, the other night on stream, the Doll Whisperer, you have to go out and uh, part of the whole quest line is that like somebody's looking for a, a rare lucky egg to, to trade for and they, they go to find it. And anyways, you, you go and you, you hunt down this notorious monster for uh, a particular type of lucky egg. I forget what what it is, hang on. It's a, you have to get a, a sublime lucky egg from a notorious monster. So you don't have to hunt down and just hope for the great drop rates on the, the general crawlers. Um, and then you trade it in. And at the end of the result for the next quest after Star and Fortune, so uh, the Doll Whisperer, is the perfect lucky egg. Perfect lucky egg is an ammo slot item that does treasure hunter plus one. I almost fell out of my chair. This is the funniest reward I think I've ever seen because it shows that the developers care. They know, they know that for years and years, players were convinced of these theories and that the Lucky Egg actually improved drop rates just by having it in your inventory or eating it. And the funniest part was you couldn't do both at the same time, at least not without extreme luck on like a drop rate. So 
you had to decide which theory you thought was more important right before you killed something. Do you eat the egg and, and kill it with the effects of the food on you? Or do you hold the egg in your inventory and, uh, and hope that that's the right way? But I love that Square Enix not only acknowledged this, but finally just said, look, if that's what you want, that's what you want, here you go. And provided a treasure hunter plus one ammo slot, perfect lucky. Like, I just can't get over this. This is hysterical. This goes to show that the developers are, they're aware of what's going on in the game. What players think, what they've thought for years, their their hopes and dreams, their aspirations. And it, they're they're paying attention. They're trying to have fun. They're, that That's what you want to see. You don't want the developers to be so run down and so miserable with the game that they're like, whatever. You want to see fun stuff like this, where they acknowledge that this was a part of of in-game Vanadil lore for years, this this theory that just kind of spread out, it was just a part of what makes Final Fantasy XI so special, was that nobody truly understood how everything worked. And we were all just fumbling around, hoping against hope that uh, we had enough knowledge to sort of figure it out. But then they're like, you know what, guys, you're fun. I'm glad you thought this all these years. Here's a treasure 100 plus one item. Totally does exactly what you thought it did. You can just keep it equipped and there you go. It's, it's such an amazing reward because it, it harkens back to all the experiences I had when the game was in my mind at its peak and I was enjoying it the most that I ever did and pulls that into this, this quest line of the future that in theory is leading up to something huge in 2022 for for the future of, of Vanna Deal with the 20th anniversary of Final Fantasy XI. I am ecstatic. And for those of you who are saying like, Hunter, this is... Yeah, okay, it's a decent reward, Treasure Hunter plus one, there's a million ways to get Treasure Hunter now. Yeah, but that's not the, it's, they made it the lucky egg, the perfect lucky egg. It's just so funny. I can't believe they, uh, they touched back on this ridiculous item. You can store it in storage slip three, apparently. That's good to know. Oh my gosh. But guys, I, I know that was a dumb little touch, but we were talking about it, laughing about Twitch stream, like, I have to make a video about this. This is ridiculous. What are your thoughts? Is this kind of stuff a good sign, or is it, uh... Is it just a cheap grab at my emotions that the developers know what they're doing? They're like, yeah, I reference a few funny things from like uh, 10 years ago and we'll see if uh, see if the players latch onto it. I still have to keep going with the rest of the Bracious Resurgence storyline. I've been hearing rumors of good things. The next portion is coming out with the September update. So I am excited to see that. Um, I've got I've got some work ahead of me. I got to catch up. I'm behind, guys. Otherwise, I want to hear if you're still playing Final Fantasy XI Retail, if you're playing a private server, or if you're skipping Final Fantasy XI entirely right now. We've got a New World coming up at the end of the month. That's pretty exciting. Anybody checking it out? Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, guys, uh, excited for the future of Final Fantasy XI. We'll see where things go. Have a good one, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. It's literally it, it's speaking the word chaos, and I'm letting kids handle it. Like, be the adult and take this thing. <laughs> what kind of pastry is chaos? Now it's sputtering. It's going to spew out death and destruction.